Hey, welcome to this shortwave radio channel, and um, I wanted to talk about this little device that I now own, and I've received this on Christmas Eve, actually. I received it on the morning of December 24th, and I was expecting, um, well, I don't know what I was expecting out of this. A lot of people seem to have said, oh, this, this was good, performance was great. Well, I've been using it for the past few days. I actually been using it for a few hours again today because I'm playing around with it. I'm playing around with the settings and the software. And uh, so this is the RTL SDR version three. This is a so we've talked about this on the channel for a few uh, times actually about cheap RTL SDR dongles. Most of the cheap ones, you know, like ten dollars. Around, roughly at 10 bucks aren't uh, capable of doing shortwave and uh, so you know for this channel they're not really useful they're okay on the VHF UHF range but this one is an updated they kind of um, you know took that same RTL SDR but they added some stuff to it to make it a little better so it's sold a little uh, it's a little more expensive it, it goes from like 20 to 30 dollars depending where you're gonna buy it and um, it, of course, is capable of shortwave from 500 kilohertz to, um, of course, goes all the way up to about 1.7, 1.8 gigahertz in VHF, UHF range scale. So, after using it for several days, and on this channel, we'll focus only on the shortwave side of things, and you guys will also see the performance by yourself, because I'll be posting videos showing the difference and reception between this RTL SDR V3 and we'll be comparing it to the RSP1A the SDR play device that I'm using so on shortwave performance this thing is not very good honestly it is uh, not super sensitive it gets the strong HF signals some of the weaker ones but in general it ain't performing very well it has many points where it overloads I actually plug in the MLA 30 uh, loop on it and this thing overloads and you got images everywhere there's a lot of bad things happening when you start using this on shortwave um, honestly this if you're a shortwave radio fan and want to try software to find receivers and SDR avoid this and go directly to something like the uh, SDR play devices you know yeah I understand that the uh, SDR play device is three times the price of this thing but you get a thousand times more performance it's totally worth it to pay more uh, because it is so much better I've seen a few people kind of um, abandon um, you know SDR and they've been using this and I understand why you, uh, if you use this for shortwave, you will think that SDR is crap and not really have a good performance. Um, if you want to know the VHF UHF performance out of this, um, I'll post the video on the uh, VHF UHF channel. So um, avoid it if you want to have HF performance. It gets the signals, it gets some signals, but it overloads, it is noisy, it is. Really, you know, I've actually used a uh, USB extension with uh, chokes on it that I use actually for my uh, RSP1A to make sure that I avoid the noise, uh, the most noise possible using RTL as the R device here. And um, whatever I do, I am far from getting a performance that's like the RSP1A device that I can tell you. So uh, it's, you know, if you want to just spend. 30 bucks and play around okay but honestly if you are more serious at SDR do get an SDR play device we will get a much better performance uh, yeah it is more expensive but you'll have much better performance honestly so uh, avoid this for HF honestly uh, I've been receiving signals all over the, the spectrum you know from um, uh, I've received uh, a couple of hams yesterday on 160 meters a few hams on 80 meters I've received some uh, broadcasts, some international broadcasts, uh, but honestly, um, it's not very good on HF, and I think it's 
better to avoid this uh, and, and go on to something better. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and yes, there will be side-by-side -side compare of this in RSP1A and uh, videos coming up in a week or two. Thanks for watching our videos.